Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it could, right? And then you would just flex the puck elsewhere. But that's flexing two heroes into roles that, you know, if, if you're having to do that, it's because the enemy really, really created and poked some holes in your draft, we shall say. Um, I like ADZ, though. I've, I've always um, thought he was a, a fantastic, very strong mid laner. He's, a, he's another uh, Tinker Spammer, isn't he? Along with Wish. I think these are the two ones in, in Europe that are pretty renowned for it. Um, but Puck, yep. not too dissimilar in how annoying the hero can be. And that's something that's super valuable that's to have. Puck. Right. Um, so the issue is, though, you're playing it into a Nyx Assassin, right? You have, you have that combo breaker. In fact, you picked it into the Nyx Assassin, uh, which to me is is actually a little bit shocking because Nyx doesn't have a particularly difficult time compared to other slippery heroes. Like sometimes it's hard to catch an Ember because he's really fast and you can't get him in slight, but it's really easy actually to get a puck uh, with with the Carapace and then set up for a kill. So it's uh, it makes me a bit nervous here actually for for ITV. I think there are solutions, honestly, to the Knicks with the Puck's playstyle. It's very similar to the Ember matchup, where originally it was considered like a hard counter, and we're starting to see that really experienced Puck players, or in the case of the Ember, really experienced Ember players are dealing with that hero just fine. I just need to phase shift the Spike Carpus appropriately, or get him with the Waning Rift, or even Dream Coil him. I don't think it's entirely there. Uh, in Spider Picks, by the way, there's a TB I was talking about, one of Coma's best heroes, at least back when he was playing on Windstrike. Uh, we haven't had the chance to see it too much uh, in these qualifiers just yet. Hmm. And I think the puck pick also fulfills another a very important role here, which is that you deal with Alina. Uh, Noob's, I would argue, one of his best heroes, if not his best hero. Very honestly. true, very true. Noob is so scary on the Lina. So you, Noob is also, to me, like the up-and-comer in general. Like He has demonstrated such a great level of Dota. Even DNZ shouted him out you know, on his own Twitter, not just because they're teammates. Like, Noob is great. And being able to deal with him with like a quick puck pick and deal with most of his picks, he's also a really good Zeus player, for example, on, on top of other stuff, uh, is important. And that way you don't have to start to draft around this and try to deal with a hero a bit later on. So I, I like it in general. I actually like this Jakiro as a solution for the Tusk. Uh, I think a lot of teams, especially when Tusk was running Rampart, very frequently went. My goodness, these uh, voice lines. Very frequently went to the uh, to the Phoenix, you know, just for the attacks we saw. But I think Jakiro is actually kind of the king of this, especially if you don't have a dispel available in your in your game on your team. Ooh, you're gonna you're not gonna want to be uh, you know looking to exchange blows with them. So I like the pick. Um, I, I liked how you brought up though, Noob, because uh, I'd agree with you. He is insanely talented, especially on the Lena, and I think that's kind of the one shortcoming. As a lot with new players, kind of same thing with ATF or Amar, uh, and when he was on the up and up, he, they've got some really phenomenal heroes that they play super well, that they can even pick into losing matchups and just kick people's butts, but they don't have very many other heroes, right? And I think that's why we see this Lena picked so early on in the draft. We can still flex it, kind of, before the second phase anyway, um, mm -hmm. but it, ITB, I think they know who they're playing against, the Puck, the Tusk now to both close the gap. They've got some pretty good answers here. Yeah, I'd agree with that, right? Like, it's, since you can already predict these kind of pickups, you you probably draft around it. And the best thing is that you you know that you don't have to go and count them a bit later. Mm -hmm. I love the draft pickup as well for Into the Breach. Uh, very solid against TB. There's one of the few heroes that TB won't ever outscale. I mean, he can outscale her in terms of farm and, and outfarm her, and then he beats her. But if this goes late enough, if they're full, both six lot of draw will win uh, nine times out of ten, right? Unless she makes a mistake. Uh, and since the TB already counters your Tusk a fair amount, because Tag Team is not that great against him, or it can be dealt with somewhat, I feel like uh, the Draw Ranger is a great tool to make sure that even if your early game goes badly, you still always have a way to deal with the TB. Not the best hero to go with Magnus, in theory, because obviously not melee, but who cares, honestly? Draw already always gets agility, so Empower is pretty good on her anyway as extra damage, and Magnus could just be an initiator, not necessarily an Empower buffer. Yeah, no, exactly, and I, I like that kind of style of Magnus a lot more. I think you're in the same pool as well. We, we both kind of cry a little bit when we see a Magnus just, you know, command move and follow and spam click you know the, the empower that's you're, you're missing so much of this hero and i think actually the shard was such a beautiful addition and really was that great and awesome ice frog nudge of like hey guys let's play magnus this way right yes he's good at this but we can also do this and i really like that fishing style of magnus that you can be playing especially because we don't see too much tiny we'll see him every now and then but uh good points on the drow ranger overall last pick position four maybe five shadow demon here then for itb uh, yeah, five, five. I think. Well, I mean, it's because Fishman Tusk, no matter what, because he's so good at mm -hmm. the Tusk. So, uh, to be honest, so I'm assuming, yeah, actually, it's probably four for Tanner. I would assume. Uh, pretty good for TV. Not too bothered by the Knicks. 
decent laning stage. Actually, a good way to make sure that Tusk goes up not against the Jakiro. You actually just flex him here. Put the Tusk for Fishman. Run him as a 5. Deal with whatever offlaner you have. Shadow Demon can deal nicely with TB and with the Jakiro. So I actually think it's a good solution. I agree. Uh, let's see what Spider picks. Oh, Timbersaw. Oh, yeah, this is a good Timbersaw game, to be honest. So I mean, Drow seems a bit scary, but... Surprised he was still in the pool. Like the lane is is not always yeah, a ton too. of fun, and if you can get silenced, which we have great setups for, or the leash is potentially a problem. Like Drow will, as you say, comp not completely shred you, but if usually if you're out of position like that, you you won't have stacks of the reactive armor, and uh, she's gonna go through your very minuscule amount of base armor rather quickly. Uh, plus the lane is hard, frost arrows. So it's outside of the laning stage. Like as soon as you hit level six on Timber Saw, he's one of these heroes where you, Drow's gonna be like. All right, I don't, whatever. I got level six. I'm gonna go into the jungle. I'll let this guy do whatever. And that's where I think Funic is gonna need to make a lot of space here uh, on the timber saw. Good draft though. I I, I yep. like the the last pick timber. Surprised that he made it through, but uh, it's it's a strong last pick. It, it's not a completely free timber saw game. You're like you're good against Magnus. You're good against Tusk for obvious reasons. But Shadow Demon can still annoy you a lot with the disruption, and so can the purge, especially if he gets Ags later, which I'm assuming he will at some point. The puck is usually pretty great against Timber. Drow can deal with you in the mid game, especially once you have the gust. Like that's always very annoying for Timber. Mm -hmm. Usually forces you to go for like Lotus Orb builds or something like that, or Yule Scepter even, because you don't you need a dispel. So it, I wouldn't say it's free. Um, Honestly, I'm still siding with it into the breach draft slightly. I think the Drowers Terra Blade matchup is really good. I feel like you have ways to deal with Alina, both with Tusk and the Puck. Uh, I like the Magnus pickup. I don't think Timber is that scary. I think it can be anyone's game, mind you, but I want to side with the better quarter core matchup here for into the breach. And I, I think that's wise. I, I do generally think that's that's a good way if you're going to be a Dota analyst. Um, that's a good way to make sure that you're never too wrong on the panel, especially. But uh, I don't know, man. I, this Timber saw pick, he, he's one of these heroes, and especially in this game, where I feel like it's going to be like a, a real kind of big sink or swim kind of hero, if that makes sense. We'll see what it'll be as uh, we get into our Serbia versus England match. ITB versus Spider Pigs going head to head. As uh, we'll be getting underway. Thank you guys for tuning in. There we go. Quickly smoking out of the base here for both sides, making sure you can not fall too behind early in the vision game. Aggressive wards then over for spider pigs. ITB though, they've got, uh, they're looking for kills. You know, he's a good target. Remember, no tips, they stay as, oh, Lysbrack are actually might just save Dino. Whoa. And with the reflection, onto four heroes. That didn't lag out your game. Great computer you have there. Tanner does fall there, unfortunately, as Adam he could be in trouble himself. Does face ship himself to safety. But they're going to continue this goal for low catch him. Low is not that fast. The NC should be able to catch up to him with the Impale. They do hit him with the last spike. They ask him for the high five there. <laughs> He's been left alone. His previous team dances around him, and there's the pause. FPS, he says. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. He swears. Re really is FPS, man. I swear, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one is. That is fantastic. That's genuinely. That's genuinely amazing. Little pleb. He even turned around for the high five, and they still pause after him. Oh my goodness! For uh, for a little bit, just just a peek behind the curtains here. Of course, Little Pleb was previously playing um, with this previous level up squad uh, when they were back as Spider Pigs. There's a tip, and sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's a bit of friendly. No banter. need for toxicity, guys. He's really lagging. I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's like Nico Baby at the, at the it's major. It's all friendly, by the way. <laughs> It really isn't angry, guys. These tips are not angry whatsoever. Like these teams have mixed and matched a lot before. Yeah. I think they hold each other in high yeah. they, It's really just friendly. I wouldn't be surprised if like at least seven out of these ten players have played together on a team. Well, that's not that. It's probably eight or something. Like they've they've played together quite a few times. Not to mean, of course, this match doesn't have stakes. I mean, because you qualify to TI, even if you lose every single match there, as long as you show up, you're still walking home with a hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. As well as some amazing Romanian food, not to mention. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, they have some great food, actually. You know, recently I found a restaurant in Madrid that's Romanian food, 50% off. They have some, some really, really good food. They have this like dessert, which is like, um, it's, it's essentially like a donut filled with cream and and jam, and it might be one of the best things I ever tried. It's just a massive hot donut full of cream and jam. Delicious. Very, very good. Sounds good. Sounds good.
before we uh, get to try that maybe one day in October. A little Pleb already getting bullied out of this lane as they're going to turn and deliver. Tag team over with the Frost Arrows. Not just a beautiful synergy, but also thematically very appropriate. Sonic not going to bother him too much. Immediately turns around for another high five. <laughs> I love these high five games. Um, yeah, I think the... The Tusk Odyssey with Tag Team is pretty strong against Timbersaw in the early. Even when you get a couple reactive armor charges, each hit just deals more damage. I think you actually can kill him. I don't think this lane is a free at all for Timbersaw. But in the mid game, I think it's when you get strong. Right? That's when Pluck needs to come in and deal with you. I don't know if anyone can go for a Vessel, or if you might go for a Shard on Drow. Nice play by Fishman I mean, that there. Might be the option, just, just a just a little micro thing that he did there was uh, it was kind of Dino opened himself up to it because he killed the courier, which meant that the creep pull was a little bit late. So normally when you creep pull like that, you kind of walk over here and then block the camp from spawning, so the support can't do what he just did and stop the the wave truly from getting skipped. Although it's going to work out for them at the end of the day because Fishman might still give him the high five. No, he doesn't dare turn around. He's a bit too low on HP. Does not want to give any further kills here to Spider Pigs. But yeah, despite the high five, despite the tips, despite the all chats, the friendly all chats, I should add, um, very competitive game here. I agree. They're going to kill Fishman on the top lane, by the way. Well done by the end of the For now, Spider Pigs is playing the early game a bit better, I'd argue, in general. I feel like the combination as well of Magnus plus Shadow Demon is. It's only good if you have nothing to stop the skewer. Like, you can set up disruption and then skewer someone on the tower. But TP is not the best target to do that against, and Jakiro is a great person to stop that, right? So it's it's not easy to to be able to take advantage of this. Compared to, say, a Magnus Lina, which is much stronger, at least, um, at getting kills. Right? You don't bring any da or you don't bring enough damage to Shadow Demon. Yeah, very true. Even Vendetta, like, is, is very useful for getting this, this burst amount of damage immediately. Pardon me, because the the issue, I mean, Demonic Purge is, is just an amazing spell. I even, I, w I, I don't think you change a single thing about it. It's still one of the D best spells in the game, especially for a support at level 6. Um, the only issue with it is that its burst damage comes at the very end of it. It's a pretty long duration. Seven seconds is when you get that burst compared to a lot of this Vendetta, a lot of Laguna. Like, we've got so much early burst damage compared to... Some and, and damage that needs to be take some time to, to stack up, right? Coil is good damage, but we need to then get the skewer to snap it. Drow's maybe not going to get the first marksmanship prop, right? These things are slight problems uh, if you get into really, really shadow poison takes forever. Yeah, M. yeah, exactly, right? Tag team damage over time, like great damage over time. These long fights are going to grow well for for ITB, but we we got to be make sure we can look through them versus Vendetta versus Laguna versus Chakram and Death uh, Whirling Death. It's maybe a problem here, right? Is what we're saying. Like, problem. I love that, that Dino always apologizes when these things happen. Like, he's genuine. He's like, sorry, sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's not like you should. He's a, he's a, he's a good hearted dude. Uh, I'll tell you that. I'll, I'll tell you that. He's uh, I, very I, honest as well. I remember I was casting for a, a different tournament back when Braim and Level Up were boot camping right next to each other. And they were playing. I was like, I wonder if they're both boot camping right now. And then Dino, after the match, went, yep, yep. He DM me. He's like, yeah, we, are, we actually are boot camping right now. So just uh, went out of his way for that. Nice. It was very kind. Very kind. What? I think his Twitter is what DNC Dota. I believe it is DNC Dota. Yeah. DNC. I recommend you follow him, guys. Like I've I've never seen like it's it's a it doesn't look like a pro player's Twitter because there's no salt on it. Honestly. It's actually pretty. Like it, it is genuinely pretty normal tweets. I actually shouted out his teammates a couple of times. I thought it's always really cool to see. You know, like a genuine respect for his teammates. Yeah. He he actually was the reason why I started paying more attention to Noob because I thought he was good, right? But then when he goes and says, "This guy's the next big thing," like watch him, and I was like, actually, actually, kind of has a point to be honest. Because right. DNC's been uh, uh, he's been in the scene for a while. He has a good eye for these things. He does and, and speaking of of people who've been in the scene for a while and have good eyes, let's talk about LeBron, right? I believe what. 29, uh, 30, yes. 20, 30, 30, 31 years old. He's he's one of the older players probably in the qualifier. I don't mean that as a slight because this man still kills it on the Maiden, still kills it on the Witch Doctor, doing his best now on the Jakiro as they're going to get a gank. Oh. Ice Path out from LeBron will connect. Tanner in a hard spot. A little bit of a Fairy Fire. Oh. It's not going to oh. save him. Koma's got too much damage. All right, all right. You do kill the Shadow Demon, bro. That's, uh, I mean, I think that's a... Uh... Yeah, so you kill a Shadow Demon, so that's a bit of a success. Not the Magnus, but you'll take it at this point, and you're really nullifying this bottom lane from being effective. If Magnus does go for the, you know, not the power puffing kind of person, he does want some farm. He's not going to find it in this lane whatsoever. Metamorphosis have been used really effectively. I'm liking how Spider Pigs are playing this, honestly. Mm -hmm. They've been playing a really solid early game. Yeah, yeah let's go back to LeBron. Let's go yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. talk this guy up a bit. Oh. 
Seems as if I've just momentarily lost Ava. Okay, I think we're all good to go. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you for the past couple of seconds as the skewer out from Malik is not going to find uh, the real TB. Once he hits that level 3 back to armor, he's just unkillable. Fishman's like, I'll, I'll hit him! Oh, oh, no. Try again. No. Oh, what about this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> he walks in and out, trying to avoid the whirling death, and just deals no damage at this point. And marksmanship is not going to help you against Timbersaw, because it's not uh, base armor. Right? Yeah. So it's not going to ignore that armor whatsoever. Exactly. Unless, again, he's out of position, which is possible with, with the Shadow Demon, with the Puck, right? But uh, it's not really going to be Lil Pleb's first target. Uh, if you can avoid it. So we get a targets down bottom. They're going for another bit of a fight. As Koma put into the disruption, spawning plenty of illusions. Pulled back now by the Shockwave, level two uh, of Malik, but uh, actually blocked by the illusions at the end of the day. It was one stack of the Shadow Poison. Tanner, he knows he needs a bit more. He's going to throw it forward underneath the tower, but it will not connect. That's going to be Koma then staying alive down bottom. He had uh, infused raindrops. It's Funic, top lane, finds the kill. He's up to level six here already. I think he's got Sol Ring on the way. This is about to be a very difficult lane here for Lil Pleb. Yeah, I think against Timbersaw they had to do much more in the early levels, as I mentioned. Once you get enough points in back to armor, it becomes impossible. And now you just see the domination of a Timbersaw nice. wing and just stroking off. Maybe just dead. Lab, I believe. Yep. Uh, yep, there's an auto attack. Why, why are you even coming in here for Fishman? He does not care. Funnick is God right now. They didn't rotate anyone to try to help him, which might have been a situation earlier. Right now it's just pointless. You go to the jungle with Drow, you ignore Timbersaw, and you pray that it take over the game. Because now Magnus is also dead, because Noob rotated faster than the Puck. That should not be happening. Uh, Avo, That's and Tink should be the fastest rotator right now. I agree. He's taking and, and, the NZ down. And, and, oh, is he, he's going to try and deny himself to the Ancients. No, he's going to deny himself? Oh. Almost got it done. Looks like Tanner got him with the Shadow Poison. Nice. Tanner done. from Tyson. Yep, Tanner. Yeah, so. He's always there, man. He's always there. He's when you think you're good to go, there he is, stealing your kills, stealing your high school prom dates. But uh, I'm surprised that happened because we had a great word here that actually scouted the rotation from Noob. You know, he, he they, we saw it coming, and that's the reason why Malik died where he did, not and not you know somewhere uh, far out in the lane. They they knew exactly what was going down. Um, but yeah, I think the Tusk, the, the fact that he TP's top lane means that oh, we don't have a save. We don't really have this burst damage to be able to turn this right now. Uh, so, a bit surprising. A bit surprising. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know what you do now, honestly, against Funic. Um, but you're getting the early in the game that he wanted, ideally. And then Dyer's whatever power uh, we saw against the Timber with the Shadow Demon and the Puck, I think it's, it's taken away by the fact that now you can itemize as freely as he wants. So you need to make something happen. As a he goes immediately for the terror. He'd be so close to six. He's got enough. Oh, he actually clo He broke the coil. And that's what actually allows him to get the kill. He had Sunder ready. He had it the because... The coil killed him. Yeah, and actually, I, I don't know if you caught that. Um, immediately, the first thing Jakiro does is he goes to kill the creeps because we was like 2 XP away. That's TB from getting Sunder. Really, really unlucky, but breaking the coil, yeah, that is going to be, uh, you know, uh, just death for him. That's uh, going to be critical. It's tier 2 damage Dyer's taken, or tier 2 tower, mind you, mind myself, is taking a lot of damage. This time on his TP, making a lot more sense that to come top lane is going to force Funic to look elsewhere now. But he's gotten the tier 1 tower. We've got wards in the jungle now of ITB. As, uh, they're looking to now apply pressure immediately on into the mid lane. Pardon me, Dino is only level uh, 3 because he left super early to give Funic all of this space, but it's already really paying off here for Spider Pigs. Funnick's a really good timber saw as well. I mean, he always always was known for these, like for this style of play of being kind of a, a crazy guy that stands in the middle and, and you know, like, like really cuts lanes aggressively. I remember back in, when he was known for his bounty hunter off lane that we used to cut lanes super aggressively. He goes for kills all over the place, you know. This man is truly a, a map. They're gonna go he again. Continues to farm as best he can. For Koma, real quick. They okay, this is the kill. This is the best kill, actually. Uh. Must be. Oh. That's not the real one. I think they know that. I think they just want to ruin his farm, right? At this stage. Yeah, they killed but the illusion. Well, you, you took one of the Conjure images away. That was pretty fresh. It's like, you know, it's okay, not, true, not true, the true. biggest deal. I mean, it's it's grasping at straws, but like, the gank failed. What else do you want him to do? You know, it's I, I think it's the best yeah, yeah, yeah. that you could have done there. I mean, these are the best moves you can make for sure. Exactly. So I agree with ITV's uh, well, yeah. reasoning. Even if. You're Radiant's losing, and in fact, there's a Funic attack. closing in on you. Funic nearby is like, what are these supports Adizad? doing in my Terrapoids jungle? That's Antique is not going to kill Timber side. I mean, with a double damage, maybe. Big will as well. Timber? Axe is going to fall yeah. here, it seems like. He's still leashed. He's going to die. 
Mads, too strong with a DD. I underestimated his damage, honestly. Uh, noob, and then, yeah, there's just way too many heroes looking to close the gap. I mean, that's a pretty good kill, um, but it's not the kill that they wanted. Uh, Funic, by forcing, what, five people into his jungle? Yeah, sure, he'll die. He'll take that death, I think. Because, hey, it gets TB safely into your triangle because he's already farming away. He's actually top lane now, just absorbing farm. He'll be then next into the triangle and continuing to farm. And you get so much information. Being able to know where all five enemy heroes are, especially one with a power rune that's as strong as the DD. Yeah, I think Funic is... He's all right with that. He'll go bottom now and look to defend this tower. And in fact, he might even look for a kill versus Lil Plague. That's going to be a little hard to accomplish, though, with the distance Radiant's made between the two, as there's a skewer. Dino with a two-man impale. Oh, the snowball out from uh, out from Fishman to close the gap, though. Into the Walrus Punch. RP committed even for Dinos. They wanted him dead, committing that much. It would be a shame for them not to get the kill, but space created then for Noob in the mid lane, who's going to be able to finish off the bottom, or sorry, the mid tier one tower, as now ITB will gather around for the siege on the bottom tier one. Do we defend this if we're spider picks then? I think we probably don't, honestly. Especially because Funny has no charges of um, his rank of armor. That's gonna definitely be the Shakiro dying. Oh boy, okay, not in the best position. Coming. Dust him away. They gotta kill Shakiro, but LeBron did drop the, the macro fire, and I think that's gonna be a dead low pleb. The positioning of low pleb wasn't ideal here, and now it seems like Spider Pig's gonna go in, take two kills, three oh. perhaps. No, they finish off everybody! as even Noob rotated here just to finish up the stragglers. That was really well done. And that's such a great usage of the BOTs as well. That's like a, a really big downside of going bots first. It's like, ah, I don't really have anything too active. I have this passive move speed and the ability to move around the map. But if my TP's on cooldown, it's just the move speed. Running all the way down bottom, slams the door shut on uh, those who are looking to escape. And they might even be able to turn this into a tier one tower. Spider Pigs, man, capitalizing off of every one of these moves. And it's, it's moves like this, this consistently, because it's not like the lanes were a blowout or anything, right, Abo? You'll, you'll agree with that. We, we had a decent tit-for-tat laning stage, but it's already a 4 to 5k in that board lead here in favor of spider Pigs, nonetheless. Yeah, and this network is also mostly on the two most important cores right now, the Lina and the Terra, but like, yeah, Timberside, a good start, but he used that to create space entirely for them, so I think it is the exact position to be in. But oh. luckily with the Drowry just not impossible just yet, they do kill Noob actually really well done by Tanner who might just pay for this or perhaps Tanner in the trees. Tempertal's really afraid of this but he's gonna beat his fear and take down Tanner. As they go for DNZ next, DNZ does have a beautiful impale on the two. Fishman committed for this but realizing commitment is not the greatest choice here. Committing is scary. Commitment is scary, especially when you don't have vision yeah, up there, and scary. you know that there's a big man with chainsaws for arms behind you. Uh, that, that to me, is always what keeps yeah. me out. Uh, as Fishman, just asking Funny, come on, man. What's the hell? Oh, he's going to leave him hanging. Okay, just throwing up the banner instead, then. Alrighty. That'll be that, as Funny now is in serious mode. Just looking to, to keep the pressure up, not wanting to get baited into another coil or anything like that. At the end of the day, I mean, we lose the Lina. That's a pretty painful death, especially because you, you basically only die to, as far as I know, was just Tanner there stacking up the Shadow Poison. Maybe a cheeky play on the Soul Catcher. Um, but that is, you know, a position four for, for the mid laner. BKB is queued up then for Lina. She's almost got it, actually. Just needs the recipe. But a smoke play from ITB. Malik, it's got Blink Dagger and RP ready to go. And synergize that very nicely with the coil. Go for the snap plays for even more damage. But right now, no one from Spider Pigs is even showing on this side of the map. They're all in their own jungle. Dyer's I just feel like uh, under attack. Spider Pigs is, lo is looking strong, but I, it doesn't seem like ITPs without options. They've been getting some decent pickoffs here and there, and I know they trust their Drow Ranger to be able to beat the TB in the late game. They just need to keep on farming, though. And right now, Drow is really, really outclassed in terms of farming. Only 14 minutes in, and the difference already 2.3 games. That's considerable, honestly. Yep. Drow does not have a farming, uh, like a, a farm mechanism in general. I, I honestly think the shard is a really good consideration in this game. Timbersaw is not a BKB pickup, uh, BKB carrier. Rarely does he pick up that item, so hypothermia is great against him. And you also get to farm faster with that. You might be able to equal the Terra Blades farm a bit with that. Yeah. I mean, you, you give Lil Plub the space, he will farm. He farms real fast, right? Marksmanship is one of the better farming abilities in the game, especially versus neutrals. It, it used to be uh, insane when it, not, when it not did Ancients. Not Image. Yeah, not, not Conjure Image. Not not Glaives, right? Not Black oh. Hands, right? Uh, RP? Off. Oh, wow, what an RP by Malik. 
Can you go and kill someone with this? You will. It's going to be DNZ first. Nimrzad's a bit of a harder kill, but trying regardless as Fishman avoids all the damage like that snowball, but Funny is just not dying. Marksmanship does nothing against this guy. Funnick will be able to survive for now, getting away with the Timber Chain towards the end. ITB, despite a great RP, can only muster to get a single kill on a support. They're looking for more, but without committing too much, as again, commitment is scary. Commitment is scary. Once again, faced with the decision whether to go up the cliff or not, they choose not. I think that's the right decision there, of course, because TB was holding on to the meta. He was just waiting for them to give him an excuse. He's so close. He, he'd rather save meta for the next big fight with BKB. Uh, oh, actually, he's going Sanj, pardon me. He's going S and Y. I, I saw the Ogre Axe and, and just immediately assumed uh, BKB. It, maybe he just changed it before my very eyes. Oh. Funny. In trouble now. Skewer. Skewer. Yep. Skewer. It's going to connect into the Snowball. Silence. Walrus Punch. Nice. Yep. Now they've got him. There's a big... Like, since they have so much physical damage and actual burst physical damage, which is a rarity, honestly, they can't kill the Timber as long as there's no reactive armor. That's what they have to be careful with. Once the reactive armor is up, he, he's unkillable. But if they're not up, you go and murder him. So I, I think that's something that's funny to be aware of. In fact, Yen Z, again, he's been fished. It's not Fishman that's nearby, it's actually Malik who did this. And the struggle as well, DNC's out of Spike Carpets, but there's no damage from the Drow. In comes out of Deke, that's not gonna be in time though, they actually got Tanner, and the Dream Coil is not gonna be able to save his fellow Brit. In fact, Fishman messes up the Ice Cards, pushes himself forward, and they tip him as they disintegrate. Yeah, and I think this is the, the, the thing we were waiting for, right, to use meta. I don't even know if we... No? Okay, we're going to use it. I was, I was thinking, I was doing the math, because we did just use Coil there again. Uh, RP is going to be up soon, so we'd rather not risk it. If you got the cooldowns, you got to play with them, uh, and that's going to allow them to just absolutely go through this Roshan without many problems. Dino as well, setting the screen up with the Nyx Assassin out front, and uh, they are going to be able to claim first Roshan pretty early, especially for not having like any minus armor. Just an overwhelming amount of physical damage, basically, here, used to kill off Rosh. Alright. Uh, that Roche is pretty big deal because you took that away from ITB, right? So, as you said, they, they, they're they a really easy Roche they can line up. You go and put the right pressure. You can probably take at least two outer towers, ideally top and mid with his Hs. And then by, by then, I think you'll be a bit weaker, but you have enough time for two metas and take two towers. And then you start to choke on ITB, make this Drow Ranger really weak. I, Puck at least can cut lanes though, so it's not entirely over. In that sense. They can, they can increase their map pressure by doing that. Cutting lanes perpetually, letting Drought take the really safe farm, and praying Magnus can keep on fishing like he's been doing up until now. Yeah, and, we, and again, we've got the heroes that can go fishing, right? It makes ADZ game a bit more difficult to play, and uh, in, in the draft, you, you mentioned something like, oh, like there are ways you have to change your play style to play around a Nyx, right? And that's definitely some ways you, you can do. That's something you can do, especially on a Puck. But I don't know. It, it just feels like this entire game the mantra and what I keep finding myself saying, even though it's, I agree with it, and what else can ITB do? It's, I, they always find themselves doing like the second best thing, right? Oh, we didn't get the kill on the TB. We, we get some wards down and we at least ruin his farm for a bit. You know, we can't do this, we'll, we'll do this instead. And it, it just feels like if you chain enough of these together, even if you're making the second best moves, it's not going to be enough to really shut down, or to shut out spider pigs, I'd say, from this game. And that's kind of how it feels like this one is going. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's why, that's why ITB wants to. This is a good one, though. Completely go in and, and yeah, change the tempo of the game. On their previous, and they've been able second... to get really good pickoffs. Yeah, no, that, that they've been able to do that, but this is now this is the money move. Yeah, RP. Oh, oh, what an RP! Oh my goodness, that RP was right on the edge. That was impressive. Yeah, that's that's exactly that what we wanted, impressive. and that's what I was waiting for. Not quite waiting, but I, I, that's what I wanted to see here. Because oh, hold on, I think Tanner is is unfortunately. Yep, back to high school for you. He's gonna try and TP immediately. Cancel it. He did well at least to sidestep oh, no. the ice path, but uh, down he goes. Uh, real quick, what Tanner's I was never gonna make it to university if he dies this quickly. <sighs> no, he's not. No, he's not. But what I was going to say was that's exactly what I wanted to see. Because on on one of these previously so-called second best moves when they smoked but found themselves oh would they have a tier one in the mid lane we can't you know sweep across the map they pl they planted this aggressive ward and now it pays off so that's great play they got it as well onto the hero without the aegis so it's actually an effective kill Alec? oh okay they know he's here because he's standing right underneath the ward and they even consider and will drop the macropire on him just to make sure that they can get the kill mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, I, I think these skills by TB have actually fairly slowed down uh, Terrorblade's progression enough for Drought to catch up. So even these skills don't matter as much. You're gonna sacrifice your Magnus completely. I think I'm actually very surprised at Malik's performance in this game. He, he's been—I mean, not surprised. Like I was expecting him to be bad, but he's just out performing honestly most Magnuses with very little farm to his name. And they've even given Azantik a lot because he can cut lanes to go for the unsafe farm. Like they're playing this game as we suggested it. It's allowing Lil Plev to slowly catch up to this TB. And why, when they're even, Lil Plev will win every single time. Unless TB goes for some sort of item like Assault Caress or... I think it's only Assault Caress that you can go for that, to deal with the Drow somewhat. And even that's not enough, honestly. No, it's it's really sucks, unfortunately. Especially because like, even in a game like this, we're just going stats, right? And that's the problem. That's the problem that TB has in this matchup, in case you're unaware. A TB just melts basically in these fights. See, to use uh, to steal yeah. something I think you said earlier, he is the origami paper and Drow Ranger is, is the scissors. I said knife. Mm. Yes. You did say knife. You know, it's, I think knife is easier to cut paper with. I don't know what you cut paper with in, in America, but I always. Like a big knife for Hamon. Mm. That's the best. I just usually we just. Right through the paper. We use like a Colt 45 usually. That probably will cut through paper too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're gonna go and uh, cut the lane that ITB. Interesting, ITB is pushing out the lane and then Timber Size has to cut it. So now ITB is like, well, we were trying to force a fight here. It's not going to happen. No, it's not. They're gonna set TP. Yep. Yeah, they'll make it out. Good map read here. Malik, he's got blinking a bit. ADZ setting the trap. Ooh, they might be able to get Noob. We'll see if they know whether or not Dino is nearby. He's still got a quarter duration here left on the Vendetta. He's got no reason really to believe that there are enemies down here still. A couple of enemies missing off the map for sure. They've already cut the wave, and he's able to escort this range creep on through. So as far as he's concerned, his business here is done. That is until... There he is. You can see that about face because he's seen an enemy. He's seen an enemy. He's thinking about it, but the rest of the team, they, they want to fight elsewhere. There's a D deer and that's spawned here in the river. Yeah, okay. It's Now it's just going to be spider pigs looking to brawl, and, and they're willing to fight over this bottom tier 2 tower then. Yeah, I mean, that, that's their best bet right now, right? You you force a team fight here, you'll say, ITV, I know you want to go for pick but I'm not going to let you. And the faster you push, the less chances the drow will eventually get online and, and kill kick your TV's ass. I mean, you still have the option, of course, is Lina being a secondary core, which we haven't really touched on, but that's always going to be useful. And of course, Timbersaw can always disturb the Drow to a degree. So it's not like it's a one game once uh, Drow kills the TV. You still have other obstacles here. And ITB doesn't always have the solutions, but I am liking what some area pitch is doing. I think they're putting the pressure they should. And ITV finally feels with the confidence to go in. They find oh, they the got first, another great RP! Oh my goodness, they got Lina included in that. They need a stunner, he's still been silenced. They gotta kill him quick, and Koma will fall. As Lil Plum continues to go for the Lina, who's gonna be capable of getting away. Instead, it's the Timbers that was in trouble. Funnick trying to go for Lil Plum. They will stop, or add something, can kill him as Fishman is also in the same boat. But I don't think Timber's gonna get away that easily. Funnick has been skewered, he does Timber chain. That skewer was a little bit of a miscalculation. They almost killed Malik as a result. Actually hit him with a dual breath. Is that going to be enough damage? Malik is slowly ticking down. But no, he'll survive. ITB though, they hold their own and once they get these RPs, my goodness. They're catching the two most important cores every single time. Yeah, that would have been such a huge win. Somehow they were only able to skewer back the TB. Noob counted his lucky stars here. I thought he wasn't in that skewer because that would have been a very difficult position to try and recover from. Uh, they still get a couple kills out of this in exchange. Um, but the scary part of, of this matchup, and I'll tell you for this, Avo, is that even though, yes, we have an 8K, or sorry, an 11 and now 12K net worth lead, game will never let me settle on a number. We're up eight kills. We've got pretty good map control and good wards. It's not even the Drow that's killing the TB, right? It's it's really these RPs, and, and it's not like you need a Drow necessarily to capitalize off an RP. It's just one of the best heroes to have versus the TB. So now that we're without these uh, ultimates, it's going to be Spider Pig's turn to, to try and make a, a fight happen here. Funnick baiting the mid lane. Oh, he's still baiting. Boys, where are we? Guys, hello? Okay, Noob is already in. He's going to go first for the back lines of Tanner. He's been taking care of Fishman now with the dieback as Coma. He's been released. Lots of damage. Lil Plum trying to TP a wall, but yeah, you won't, mate. He's going absolutely nowhere. ADZ at the very least able to escape. I mean, they do kill Noob. Oh, they, get, they got Noob. Adds. Yeah, that's got new, but still not good enough. Spider, Spider picks play that really well. They're like, all right, we, we just need to bait with Funnick because he has reactive armor charges. The big definer, honestly, is do you have reactive armor when you start to yep. fight? And if you do, you can tank that Drow quite nicely. 
So I think we really fell for the bait hook, fly, and sinker. And now you should be able to push at least one lane of racks in the terrible metamorphosis. Oh yeah. Now they've, they've cut the wave, but there's still plenty of uh, melee creeps here on the high ground. Focusing, of course, onto the melee structures. Nice play by Ads to at least get rid of them. So they're on a timer now. Oh, and a big old timer. Perhaps, but no, they couldn't get the skew out in time. Back stopped by the ice wall. Been taken down. Nice path, pardon me. That is uh, no path that he's going to be walking on. Basically, just a wall for him, essentially. Great RP yet again, but just not immediately ready to, to capitalize off of it, unfortunately, is what that was for ITB. And now they're, without, they're left without any ultimates. Luckily, it's a long Roche. It's a two-minute long Roche on. So Gaben and Ice Frog, they're not going to punish here ITB for, for not being able to capitalize on the RP. Well, they hit the destruction here. But, first saw is nearby. I don't know, that's Nova is too stable. Okay, so they kill the broad. Actually, Fishman's getting away with his life. Well, they have stun at Zen Teak. He has to get away. The BK immediately with a little pleb. The damage is high. It is high enough to stop that TP, that TP with the BKB on. They don't need a stun and they can just kill him. Yep. And that's the second time in a row they've stopped uh, this Drow Ranger from TPing away right in front of them. Just overwhelming amounts of damage. Yep. This time out, but it wasn't even with the Metamorphosis, but it was with the Eye of Scotty. So there's a little bit more damage that Koma's bringing. You know, by the way, of course, burrowed on up, making these initiations just about impossible. Of course, Spiked Carapace still works normally when you're in uh, the Axe Burrow form, but it also will stun anyone in the immediate AoE of you, just not automatically. So he doesn't even need to be caught by the RP. He doesn't even need to be caught by the um, Shockwave, and he can still really ruin this initiation by Malik, especially because he still doesn't have BKB Avo. He's uh, actually going to be going instead uh, for the Aghanim Shard. Yeah, you can actually... Um it used to be the build back in the day when Ash was very popular to go for Blink, right? You would impale and then Blink onto them, Burrow, and in that time you can spike Corpus, yep. actually. Yep. Still a combo that can be used. And that's how you got the... That was the old Nyx meteor hand before Nyx started building a much easier item to play. That was back when Nyx was a skilled hero. Then they gave him meteor hand. It was like, oh. Well, they took... They, they got rid of it very quickly. Okay, no stacks of reactive armor here. Thank God. But little Pleb, he's still not willing to fight him. Okay. It's a... Oh. Well, the creeps are nearby. He knows. That's why. Oh. He knows. The creeps are nearby. That gave reactive armor. They allowed him to go for the Magnus here. The Marksman ship is doing great nothing. Snowball. The Ice Path canceling. Snowball to get him away. Fishman, though. Yeah, great Snowball, but kind of offensive. The Impale will actually stop for Fishman. Malik's already dead. And Fishman's also going to die. Was, I mean, it was, a different way. it was offensive, but there was just no other targets there, unfortunately, was what happened. Um, Malik, he tried to, he yeah. almost actually managed to fish the Lena out, um, but she Yule scepter in time. Now they're going to try and make the play BKB available. She's got Yule scepter as well, actually managing not to find Little Pleb, not going to even use the Yules on the first life, instead saving it. Is she going to buy back immediately TP on it, but they have at least dispatched of the wagon. ADZ doing a good job to nuke through that one. Looks like uh, they're not going to even be able to find the Shadow Demon, so the Lena buying back immediately into this fight and back pushing with the team. Oh, actually, I, I lied, of course, because they canceled the bot's TP, so uh, just the buyback fished out from Lena. Mm, all right. I mean, that, that, a small win, right? But I feel like the control of the game is still complete in spider pick side. Now, Trout needs to recover a fair chunk of net worth, and we have already seen Funnick being able to deal with her nicely the whole game. They haven't really been able to get these gust initiations. It feels like every time ITB gets a good fight, it's out of reach. So much sweat and hard work. I was seeing a stronger team fight by them, but it just wasn't looking that way. And ITB is going to go for yet another attempt here. They're a little bit late, I think, here, Avo. Macropire doing a lot of work. Yeah. Dino as well, just in the most annoying position. They're going to scout him. He's going to scout them. He actually connects two onto the Impale. Luckily, ADZ in smoke is not going to reveal himself. Vision is there. Noob, Noob, what are you doing here? Okay, he's got Aegis. Goodbye, Aegis. I guess that's one way to start the fight. Snowball now is ITB trying to bring it back home here. Oh, no, but they're being cut off already. ADZ still holding on now to the ultimate as they've dispatched of Tanner already. Fishman next to go, trying to TP away. But that doesn't work for the Drow. It's not going to work for you either. They've dropped two heroes to start the fight. Oh, RP. It's going to be, no, not with the Yul Scepter, actually controlled completely. They know he's the biggest issue, so Malik just dropped here. They're able to go for the tower down bottom as well. And the racks on top of this. Nice patience there from Noob. It's uh, three man RP, not going to bother him a bit. We're looking for the back line, Jakiro, and we've got him. Goodbye, LeBron. Unfortunately, LeBron's not the one that's tearing through your structures, and he's not the one that's going to be blowing the horn for the Mega Creeps. 
Down go the last pair of barracks. Coma immediately in onto Tanner. Does not have disruption any longer. And also doesn't have a life to play with as he is taken down. Disruption Illusions doing a lot of work. As AD said, trying to actually still get this kill onto Noob. In they go, but the BKB is there. Walrus Punch, lots of damage. And Lil Pleb able to stand his ground, deliver okay. the damage necessary. They found a kill. Funnick nice thinking about was. going back in. Thinking about it. I think he's going to think better of it, what though. What is that TP? <laughs> <laughs> Dino! <laughs> what was that team? Whatever, I mean, he gets one for free. I mean, they took Mega Creeps, right? So, who cares? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Middle tower I, I don't know, you don't have a good lineup against me. Well, I mean, if Drag goes for the Ags, but she has to farm that 4,200 gold item in this time. And otherwise, you really can't deal with Mega Creeps. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> nope. No, that's uh, a pretty big issue for them here. As, uh, it's easy, it's yeah, easy. I mean, you have the power, at least. Yeah, but the, the issue is like we don't have one hero who can just sit at home and take care of these things. Even a, I think a mag at this stage, especially with the utility build that he's gone for, we don't have any stats. This is not your mid lane mag uh, with with power shreds, echo saber, etc. This is you know four staff and one bracer and and the magic wand. Like that's where all your stats come from, come from. So even uh, even with empower, he's going to struggle to to clear a creep. So uh, what this is is basically ITB just you know. They said, you know, boys, we got to bring it home, and then uh, they did exactly that by being trapped in their base by Megas. Brought it home. They brought, they brought the creeps home. That push goes. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think that both teams now are recognizing uh -huh. that as we get plenty of voice lines out. Is this, uh, is this something you recognize? Yeah. Is this like uh, from your days in Scotland? You want some? Yeah. Just uh. What, you mean the phrase? Or? Yeah. I mean, uh, listen, I'm an American here. Okay. We uh, we, 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 we I don't know. We. Yeah. Well, isn't is, there's a phrase in 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 Dota, isn't it? Tusk. I'm like, oh, you want? Some? Oh, it's bristleback. It is bristleback. You're absolutely yeah, bristleback. right. You're absolutely yeah. right. You're absolutely. I mean, bristleback. His accent is technically supposed to be Cockney. So. Okay. Okay. Maybe this is like bristleback's oh, disapproving bat dad. He's like, why did you? Go oh, and get bristles on your back if you could have just, I don't know, what's a British thing? <laughs> I mean, I i don't know, but that like, guy just looks like every British person I ever met. I don't know. Like, the beer, I think, makes it for me. Okay. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the suit with the beer that just makes me think, ah, England. Yes. Okay, okay. I guess that's hey, very indicative of the ITB supporter pack then. You can find it yourself only for a couple more weeks in the Dota 2 main menu. Watch tab. Support your favorite professional Hopefully Dota 2 Hopefully they make it permanent after those weeks. I would also Maybe appreciate I'm hoping that Gaben descends from the sky. I am begging you, Gaben. These supporter packs are really expensive. I'll buy every single supporter pack if you make them permanent. I will actually buy every single one. I just got paid. So please, <laughs> let me buy them. Make them permanent, Gaben. Let me buy them. All right, the classic sneaking past the structures that no longer exist because these buildings do not break. Smokes! Oh, good Dino. He's already on in. Finding the two-man impale, but the RP is on to two. This time, no one to interrupt okay. it because it's Dino who jumped in initially. But Noob, he's just going to stand and deliver. <laughs> Murder to the Magnus. Noob still fighting, this time refusing to go down as he BKBs up. Little Pleb trying to do some damage from inside of the fountain, but that's not going to be working. ADZ just living by the grace of the Ghost Scepter, but the GG is going to be forced out. Game one going towards Spider Pigs as it was not Gaben that descended upon them. It was Coma and the rest of the boys. Spider Pigs. Spider Pigs, yes. The boy. The little piglets. Thank you, Coma. I mean, what a, what a great game by Spider Pigs, honestly. I gotta say that I was expecting a bit more from ITB. I think that mid lane should have not gone as well for the Lena as it should. Like, I mentioned in the early game, but it shouldn't be Noob that Lena, who's doing the first rotations compared to a Puck. Like, you have more mobility. If an Ad barely died, but he didn't have much kill participation. I feel like Into the Breach made some really good moves early, but they were a bit limited by how badly their lanes went, particularly as well the Drow lane. They should have concentrated more on trying to kill the Timbersaw early, by even rotating the, the Shadow Demon over there. And there were a couple of times where the misplays they made were crucial. Like, going on Timbersaw early when he had, or like into the mid game when he had Break Down Armor on, which is impossible, you're not going to kill him. It was a difficult game for Into the Breach. I had, I had hopes for them, but I, I do agree that their execution was much harder than the Spider Pigs, and I feel like they they did their best to deliver. I, I don't. I would not be ashamed if I was Into the Breach. I thought it was a really good game, but Spider Pigs they just played really clean Dota.
And that Jakiro pick, by the way, was on point. I thought the Jakiro pick was awesome. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree with you, Alvaro. Thank you for breaking down that game. Number one here, we'll see if ITB uh, are going to make it. Uh, what the uh, British scoreline was yesterday, 2-1 to one over Denmark to try and get 2-1 over the Pigs here. Oh, or if it's uh, going to be the clean 2-0 for Spider Pigs or maybe a different outcome. We shall see. Uh, but either way, you guys are going to have to go to a quick little break when we come back. Game number two in our best of three elimination series.